big update from Klein as they've just released a new update to their autonomous coding agent and you can now use Claude 3.7 thinking mode directly inside Klein. I'll show you how to set this up, how to use it, how to code with the AI agents and also how to use free APIs inside Klein as well if you want to get free access to it. If you want to see what are the latest changes with Klein 3.5, so, for example, they've added enable extended thinking option for Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And you can also set different budgets for plan and act mode. So if you're using the API, you can set different budgets on top of that. It adds support for rich MCP servers. So you can basically preview website thumbnails, etc. And Wolfram Alpha visualizations. They've added a language section now, which is pretty cool. because you can build websites in foreign languages, apps, tools, etc. And you can also insert your Grok API inside there directly as well. Plus, we've got a bunch of other changes. So if you want to get access to this, just go to Visual Studio Code, download that. Then you're going to go over to Extensions. From here, you would type in Klein inside the Marketplace. This is completely free to download. Once you've done that, you'll find Klein on the left-hand side. And from here, you can start coding away with it. Now, if you want to use Claw 3.7 Thinking Mode, then you can just go to your settings like you can select Anthropic, for example, and then inside here we can select Claude 3.7 Sonnet. We can also add custom instructions like you can see. If you want to steal these custom instructions from me, it's inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description. If you've already got Pliant installed, then you want to restart the extension to actually be able to use these features. So there'll be an option there to say restart extension. And then from here inside the settings, you'll get the option for extended thinking. And what you can also do here is you can set different token limits depending on how nuanced and comprehensive the reason is, right? So for example, with a really complex project, obviously you want more tokens. Whereas for a simpler project, you can budget less tokens, right? Also, extended thinking mode, probably going to be more useful for the plan AI agent, right? So you get two different options inside Klein, which is plan mode and act mode. Act mode is actually coding the project and plan it and plan mode of course is just planning out what you're going to build and how you're going to build it let me show you an example what we can do over here is we can say okay create an ai powered audit tool for goldie agency that analyzes a business operations and suggests automation opportunities in html users enter their business details and workflow pain points ai analyzes responses and generates a personalized ai automation plan generate a report with action steps and cta to book in a call for automate for implementation then we'll insert a link to our funnel, HTML, right? We're gonna enter, and we're just gonna do this in plan mode first. So we're gonna plan out the process first before we actually build it out. Now it's gonna be using the API for extended thinking to plan out the project before it finally builds it. Why would you wanna plan it out? Simply because then you're gonna get better outputs and instead of the AI just rushing to create it, you actually plan out the project and how it's gonna be built before it's developed, all right? And then you can see here it says, would you like me to proceed? So we'll switch to act mode now. And it's beginning to build this out. Now, one thing to note here is that Klein is free. Visual Studio Code is free, right? And you can see it's using the extended thinking mode now to create this project. But when you're doing this, you can also use free APIs. So for example, you could use OpenRouter, then the free versions of Gemini or Mistral. These are all good coding tools. Now, obviously, Claw 3.7 Sonic, from what I've tested, is by far the best and it creates the best outputs, especially on the front end. But if you're trying to stick to a budget and you're trying to create something really simple, then you can change your settings, plug in your open router API, and then switch to a free API inside there. Now, also one of the cool things about this whilst it's building out is inside the settings here, we can limit the number of tokens we use, which is going to save us money. And also because it's using the custom instructions, it's going to customize the project to us, our brand colors, who we are, etc., And also you'll see in this section over here, we have MCP marketplace servers, right? So what we can do from here, for example, is we could install for something like Serper search. And this actually allows us to search Google using the Serper API to get results. And we can preview them inside client. I'll show you what that means in a minute. And basically this allows us to preview websites inside client, which is super useful for building projects out. But for now, we'll come back to this and we'll look at the outputs. The other thing to note here as well is like you get checkpoints here. So if you do mess up the project or you want to roll a change back, then at each major change of the project, we can just compare or we can restore the previous version of our project 
so that we don't lose progress or if we have a bug, we can roll back to the previous option. The other good thing about this versus say something like bolt.new is that inside bolt.new, obviously you've got a token limit on the free plan. Whereas for example, inside decline, it can just keep building and building. It doesn't really have a token limit. In fact, you just set the token limit and you can use free APIs to help you along the way. So you can keep. Additionally, this is all stored locally. So if we right click this, then click on review and finder, we can see our tasks inside this project. And then we can just open one of them up if we want to. So for example, let's open this one right here. And you can see that we can just open up this tool we've created previously and it's all installed locally. So let's go back to the project, see how it's going. You can also click on the think mode here and see what it's done so far. So you can see is I noticed the file was cut off unexpectedly. Here's the issue and why. Here's what it's going to do right now. It says, let me continue writing the remaining parts of the HTML file. And it's just going to create the rest of the audit page. Now for client prompts, one thing I definitely recommend is checking out my prompt forge AI custom GPT. This is custom built to help you figure out, okay, what could you come up with that would work really well inside client. So if we say, for example, an SEO agency, give me 15 ideas for prompts I can use on client tools, apps, websites, and games, relevant plus fun, plus Pratt. Keep projects really simple and HTML based. What that's going to do is give us a bunch of ideas and prompts so we can actually build around our specific use case, right? So you can replace SEO agency with whatever you sell or whatever you want to build or whatever industry you're in. And that way you can just come up with tons of cool ideas that would work really well inside client. That's inside the AI profit boardroom link in the comments description. If you want to get to it, we can also, for example, go to a new window and start using client in multiple different instances, right? So if we go over to client now, and then we'll go over to the MCP marketplace, I'll show you how you can use this, for example, previewing websites and that sort of thing. So if we type in Serpa. We've got this option for server search, and this allows us to search Google and set this up with one click, right? Now, one thing I'd recommend for this process is that we're not going to use Claude thinking mode. We don't need Claude thinking mode for this process. So we're just going to switch over to open router. We just click run command here, and this is going to start installing that MCP server for us. You can also, for example, install perplexities. API and you can see that it's running searches for us using Perplexity's research MCP server. So there's so many good MCP servers that are going to link this basically to other different apps on the internet, right? So for example, like Perplexity or Google searches, etc. you can do all of this for you and you can get the AI agent to do it for you. So for example, this is the response from Perplexity, like you can see, and that's really cool for just creating projects and then linking them to whatever you're building out. So you can get real time data. You can use the power of Publexi search and build out projects that you have. So to set up Serpa, which is the Google search, we just need to grab an API key. And also the cool thing with Serpa as well is that you actually get 2,500 credits for free, right? So each month you can get 2,500 credits to search the web using the AI coding agents. And then we just need to plug in our API key here. The other cool thing here as well is you can actually code multiple projects with multiple different APIs as you go along, right? So you can see here, for example, I'm using the open router API for setting up the MCP server. And if I go back to the AI automation audit project, which is still coding out quite a big project, we're using Claw 3.7 Sonnet for that. So let's approve the process now. And you can see we've completed the Google search MCP server automation. And you can see, for example, if we say, right, check juliangoldie.com using the MCP server, we've got the thumbnails right here. And you can see now, if we say check juliangoldie.com, we've actually got previews of the website right here using the Google search, right? So what it's doing is it's doing an organic Google search so we can get the AI agent to just go off and Google stuff for us. But also it'll pull in the thumbnails and the previews of the websites for that particular topic. So for example, like the contact us page, some of the previews are not going to work, but it's pretty useful. So you can see here, we actually ran the command from the project that we created here. It's open it up and we have the project likes. So this is hosted locally. You can just get the HTML file, host it on Netlify or something like that. It's a simple case of dragging and dropping the file into Netlify. But basically it's created the whole website, but nice little navigation bar, a 
CTA at the top to book in a free SEO strategy session. This is first attempt as well. So obviously we can go back and forth and improve the design, but this is like literally the first draft. It's created the whole page for us. Then we've got the AI audit form right here. And when we scroll down, we've got the FAQs. And then finally the CTA, which we asked for, plus a link to book in the AI automation strategy session, which was also created with AI, by the way. So pretty cool stuff there. Loads of great features. You can Google, you can preview websites. You can link it to MCP servers. You can use Claude 3.7 extended thinking, and you can automate really cool projects like you see right here, which would actually be useful for your business if you're trying to get more clients in. The other thing to note here is if you go to settings and then advanced settings, like you can see, you can actually change your preferred language. So you can switch between all these languages. And also if we go to the API provider and then scroll down to XAI, we can plug in our Grok API key, and then we can choose between models. This doesn't have Grok 3 inside it yet because that's not released to the public. I think some people have got like early release versions, but for the majority of people, we don't have access to Grok 3 API, but it's pretty cool that you can build with all of these and Grok 2 still does a decent job. Now you might also be wondering, okay, what's the best like API to use? And this really depends on what you're going for, right? So client actually did a really good job here. This was updated last month in February, 2025, but essentially Claude, and I would recommend 3.7 Sonnet, not 3.5 Sonnet now is the best coder. DeepSeek R1, pretty good at planning. So if you switch to plan mode, inside Visual Studio Code, which you can do down here, like you can see. O3 Mini, great middle ground. DeepSeek version three, almost at Sonnet level, which is pretty surprising to be fair. And then Gemini Flash and 1.5 Pro, pretty strong generally, but also they don't cost you any money, right? So you can get a free API key for these, or you can just use Open Router's API. Either way, you get a free API that you can code and build projects with. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the SAP step-by-step for setting this up, along with Prompt Forge, which is a private custom GPT I built for the AI Profit Boardroom community, where you can get tons of prompting ideas and also ideas depending on your industry, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments and description. Inside this community, you're going to get access to 247 members, all interested in saving time and making more money and scaling their business. Using AI, you can ask any questions inside the community. It comes with all of my best courses on like email and content automation, social media and video avatar automation, AI agents, web automation and scraping, AI SEO, plus Q&A call recordings, my best SAPs, which I'll include the one from today, and a crash course to save you hundreds of hours with AI. On top of that, there are weekly Q&A calls with me. So if you actually join today, then you can jump on the Q&A call with me tomorrow, ask me any questions, happy to help you. And additionally, the prices are going to go up on the 10th of March, right? So if you sign up now, you're going to lock in your legacy price. You'll save a lot of money long term as well. And you're not going to get charged any extra. If you wait until after the 10th of March, you'll miss out on that price. And we're not going to drop the price again because there's so many members inside here. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one to one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan custom tailored to your website to get you more leads, sales, and profits from your site. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building, or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to rank your competitors in link building based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.